All right, today we're gonna to be going through a crankshaft position relearn sequence on a Chevy Colorado or a GMC Canyon. Uh, my truck's a 2005 GMC Canyon with a three and a half liter. So the first thing we're gonna to do today is we're gonna have our Tech 2 set up here. So we're gonna plug it into the DC port down here and we're gonna have the OBD2 port hooked up down here. Once we have that all hooked up, first thing we wanna do is we wanna start our truck and you wanna have it warmed up. So you can see I'm about now I'm probably about 160 right now. I think the bare minimum is about 155. So I'm just above the line of what we need to be at. So we're gonna start it. And then once we do that, we're gonna hit the power button down here on the Tech 2. It'll run through its initialization sequence here. And I'm gonna click enter to continue. Once I've done that, I wanna go into diagnostics. I want to select my year. We want to select light duty truck, MPV or incomplete. And since mine's a GMC truck, I'm going to select GMC. And the product line code for our trucks is an S. So if you have a Chevy Colorado, it's going to be the <clears throat> it's going to be the same thing. It's going to be Chevy truck and then S. Select S for either select Colorado or Canyon. And then we're going to go into powertrain. You're going to select your motor here. We're going to select a transmission, so I'm a four-speed automatic. And then this is where we're going to be getting into what we want to be doing today. So this is special functions. This is where we want to go. Special functions. And then crankshaft position variation learn. That's what we want to do today. So we want to clear our P0315 code. That's caused when you swap motors or you uh, swap crankshaft position sensors. Just like that. It's going to say basically what the rundown is going to be, what RPM you're going to go to. So even for the L4 or L5, so we have an L5 in my truck, it's going to say 3970. And even though it says L4, the L5 will go to the same RPM as 3970. So we're going to click enter to continue. It's going to say engine should not accelerate beyond calibrated blah blah blah. Um, you know, just click enter. Start set parking brake, so make sure your parking brake is set. And it says, uh, do not apply brake pedal. So we're going to click enter. Now it says apply and hold brake pedal. So I'm going to apply and hold the brake pedal down there. Turn your AC off. And uh, vehicle must remain in park or neutral. Press enter to continue. Alrighty. It says accelerate to wide open throttle release when fuel cutoff occurs. I'm going to try to get both screens in here at the same time here. See it already shut me down. It says test in progress. Learn status. Learned this ignition. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. Press to exit. Now that we've done that, we want to exit out of this menu here. We want to go into diagnostic trouble codes. We want to go to DC, DTC information and then click DTC info. Now if you already had the code, you would see it would say P0315 in here it would, for the crankshaft position relearn sequence. Now that we know that it's code still in there, we want to um, back out one menu here and we want to clear the DTC information. Clearing DTCs will, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yes, you want to do that. So we want to click yes. Records are being cleared. Now they've been cleared. For you guys, you want to go back up into DTC information, go back into DTC info, it's going to say waiting for data. If you have no diagnostic trouble codes, you just fix the problem. You're done. And that's how you do a crankshaft position relearn sequence on a 2004 to 2012 Chevy Colorado or GMC Canyon. Thanks for watching.